everyone, it's Leah from Urban Leah LM and I wanted to do a quick stroller review on the Juvi Ultralight Caboose Double Tandem Stroller. <laughs> so there was a look at both of my kids in the stroller. In the front, I have my son Miles who just turned two. The front is better for younger kids. You can see there's a five point harness, a nice tray. You can see how his feet are dangling and he's only two so you can see that a kid that would be um, a year or two bigger would be too big for the front seat. In my opinion, this is my daughter Lydia who is four and she fits in the back nicely. She can either sit or stand, which is perfect for her age because she's always wanting to get out of the stroller and walk and then if she gets tired, she can always come back and sit down if she chooses to. This is the canopy and it does fit over both kids. It fits a little better over the front seat, I think, than the back. You can see how she's trying to pull it down, and so then it will come up off of him a little bit. And there's, I adjusted it a little bit more. So there's a look at that, and then with both kids sitting, here's um, the back seat and the buckles, what it looks like. And then you can see the platform where the child can stand up. And there's a pretty decent basket underneath. I have my diaper bag down there. And then you'll see you can slide the back seat back and forth to kind of open that up so you can fit your bag. There you go. If the child wants to sit, you would need, it sli uh, you would need to slide it closed. Okay, now collapsing it and opening it. There's a latch here on the bottom. You would need that opened to collapse it. And here you can see there are two handles on the top that I pull up on and fold it down. You definitely need two hands to do this. It does get pretty compact though for a double stroller. That fits in our car fine. We have a Hyundai Elantra, so our car is not very big. And then there's a latch here to close it. It's not gonna stay though if it's lying flat like that. If it's up on the side and you wanna carry it that way, then that latch works pretty well. Okay, then opening it, you would just pull back. I put my foot down on it and then pull it until it clicks. Then I pull the canopy down. And you can see again on the bottom, you would need to latch that shut when you have it open. Here's another look at the stroller fully open. And then on the handles, you will see a parent organizer that comes with the ultralight. This does not come with the regular caboose. There's a slot in the front to stick things. There are two cup holders. Another feature of this brand of strollers is you can buy this extra rear seat that you can attach to the back, as you can see in this stroller. We do not have this because I felt like my daughter was too big for that and she wouldn't be able to sit comfortably. But I think that if you had two young, kids like two toddlers that you could do that and I know that the back seat when you attach it it does recline like the front seat does so that's nice to have. The attachable rear seat retails at $69.97 right now on Amazon. We paid $199.99 for this stroller about a year ago from Amazon. So about $200, which I thought was pretty reasonable for a double stroller. This stroller also comes with a car seat adapter that you can attach to the front where the tray is. So you would set the car seat on the front side of the stroller and then an older toddler or preschooler could still use the back. We didn't have that need when we bought it. Our kids were out of that stage at that point, but it would work well for you if you had an infant and an older child. We had very specific needs when I picked out this stroller. Living in the city, we needed something that we could easily maneuver through crowds. We needed something that was slim. That's why I wanted tandem. Um, we ride the bus and the L, so I needed something that would work well with that and fitting through doorways, going into different stores and things. Um, we also live on the second floor, so I needed a stroller that I could easily carry up two flights of stairs. Um, this one weighs, let's see, 25.9 pounds. So it's definitely not super light, but I am able to carry it. Another question is, is this stroller good to take to Disney World? I think that it could be if you had an older child and a younger child and the older one wanted to get out and walk a lot and just, you know, have a place to sit if they needed it. We actually opted to rent a different stroller from an outside company, Kingdom Strollers. We rented the City Mini um, double stroller from Baby Jogger. I wanted something that had two really big canopies because of the hot sun there, obviously. And I wanted one that had 
had two seats that you could easily recline all the way back so that both kids could sleep comfortably if they needed to. My kids both nap in the parks when we go. They do better that way than leaving and coming back to sleep. So I was pretty happy with um, just renting from an outside company. We also wanted more room in our trunk, the trunk of our car. So, but I have enjoyed this stroller. Let me know if you have any questions about it. I'd love to talk to you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.